Hey, what's up guys? My name is Achana. Welcome to episode 76 of Game Programming. So today we're going to talk about particles. Um, because last time we uh, actually touched on particles very briefly. So if I actually um, launch the game and go all the way to our, our um, thingy, our particle little thing that we made last episode, which wasn't really particles, it's just that we did cover rendering uh, adva advanced rendering of sprites. And uh, I drew this quick thing to kind of let you guys know what particles would look like. It's right over here. By the way, from now on, whatever I shoot at is what I'm actually looking at because the mouse pointer can be a little hard to see. So if I shoot at something, that's generally what I'm talking about. So you can see I'm shooting at this white thing, um, these white squares. So let's get rid of them. They are in our random method in our um, in our main uh, game.java class. Uh, I'll just get rid of all of this because that's what we created. Um, and then we won't have it anymore, but I'm not going to show you that because that will take too long. Um, okay, so let's talk about particles. Um, how are we going to do particles? Um, there are many different ways to do particles, but we're going to do something that is uh, really, really simple um, and also will get us a really nice aesthetical effect because, like, when I think about this, the only reason we probably need particles are for um, intense destructions and maybe uh, for environment effects, essentially. So. That's not really, if, if you look at Realm of the Mad God, which is of course the game that we're trying to clone here, um, they don't really have many particles at all. Oh, no, actually that's a lie. They do have they do have particles. And in fact, our particles are going to look a lot like theirs. Um, and by that I mean every time I think you use your space bar or whatever. I haven't played Realm of the Mad God in like a year, by the way, so it's probably changed a lot. But um, whenever you, um, I think the, the big uh, gods, as they're called, they release a lot of particles when they... Um, I don't know, attack or something, and there's a lot of that stuff going on, so we're going to talk about that. Um, so what I want to do first is I'm going to make an end, a new entity subfolder here. So in entity, we've got mob projectile. I'm going to make another one here, a folder called um, particle, okay? And this will basically just have all of our particles in there because we will have, kind of like projectiles, we'll have a uh, like a master class, a, a super class, and then we'll have um, subclasses. So we'll make a new class in this particle folder and we'll call it particle, pretty, pretty straightforward. Um, and a particle is gonna have a bunch of, a bunch of random things. Um, if we actually look at our entity class, not this entity class, our entity class, you can see that we've got a random, um, we've got an instance of the random class that we can use throughout our code. So one thing we need to do is make sure that particle extends entity. And the reason we wanted to do that is because, of course, we want to add particles to our level. Um, to our level, and the way we do that is through, is through entities. I'm sure I don't need to remind you, but we've got an, uh, an array list of entities called entities in our level class. Um, and in order to render projectiles, we want to kind of add it to this list. Um, so in order for us to be able to do that, it needs to extend entity. And also, more or less, we want it to have these same traits. So we want it to have an xy position. That's where they originate. That's not where they're going to stay because of course the particles will like kind of burst out. Um, we want them to be able to be removed, we want them to have a level, and uh, well, I mean, we want to update them, we want to render them, and we want to do everything here. So it makes sense that they are an entity. Um, I'm just making myself clear here. Um, so let's, let's do this. Um, what I like to do is typically create an array list inside this class. Um, so we'll create a private list called particle, um, and we'll call it particles equals new array list particle. Okay, not going to show up for us. <laughs> um, and let's um, import Java util list. Um, the reason I do this is because it's it's quite rare for us to make particles by themselves. Okay, we'll usually create ten or twenty or a hundred particles straight away. Okay. It's very rare that we'll be like, yeah, let's just pop out one single particle. Um, and because of that, instead of having to manage this creation of multiple particles on the, in, in the place that we call these particles, we can just do that straight away inside this thing. Um, and that'll be actually make, make, our, make our code a lot cleaner. So what we wanna, what we wanna do here is create a constructor. And of course this constructor is basically just gonna take um, probably um, four parameters. So uh, the, y, the x and y position of where the particles are going to originate from, uh, the life, so how long they're going to last for, because of, of course you want particles to disappear after a while, otherwise um, if they stay there forever, well, you're going to keep rendering them forever, 
and that'll slow your game down a lot. And then also we just don't want them to be there forever. Like it's just like an aesthetical thing. We want them to disappear after a while. And then we'll create another integer here called amount. And that's how many particles we want this, uh, this like this particle thing to actually generate. Um, so uh, one thing that we can do first of all, is if we check out our sprite class, um, I'm not sure if we made a part. Okay, we did make a particle. So uh, let's make a. I'll make a particles thing here. Particles can typically be made within code because they're not usually, um, you know, they're not usually images of something. So we'll call it particle underscore, um, you know, normal, I guess. Um, and we'll create a new sprite, and we'll just use this um, int size and color constructor because we, we, we want them to be square and we want them to be a, just a color basically. So let's um, let's make them, uh, what size? Let's make them three for now. We'll see if that might be too big, we'll see. And the color, um, I'll just make them, I'll just make them uh, pretty light um, gray. So six A's, okay? Um, all right, cool. So now that we've got a sprite called particle normal, uh, we can actually uh, set in our particle here. We can set the sprite equal to particle normal. Um, now you might be like, what's going on? What if I want to set my sprite to something else? Or what if I want each uh, individual particle to have different things? Um, oh, we don't have this. Why doesn't... Okay, entities should really have sprites, shouldn't they? What's going on here? Did I not say entities should have sprites? Hmm. Okay, well, we'll make a sprite here for now, but I think I might change that later. Okay, so, um, again, that's what I mentioned earlier is that we'll, you know how we have a different wizard projectile, we have different project projectiles, we have uh, subclasses of this projectile class, same thing here, right? If you want a specific, uh, um, if you want a specific particle, you just, you know, just sub just, just make a subclass um, that whose parent is particle and then you can do whatever you want. So, uh, we'll also make all these uh, global variables here for, um, for this stuff. So, we don't need x and y, obviously, that's in the entity class. We do need life, so that's an integer. And amount, we don't need either, um, because you'll see why in a minute. Uh, so, we'll make life, and we'll also make a bunch of... I'm not going to get into the maths of this now, just because, um, you know, this video is going to be quite long if I do that. Um, uh, but what we also need to do is um, create some more variables which I'll do in the next video uh, to actually handle this um, basically the animation of these particles since we want them to kind of bounce and you know do all that cool stuff um, so what else should we do um, right so let's set up this array list quickly uh, we've set the sprite oh we make sure you, you set this dot x equal to x this dot y equal to y um, that'll probably be the first thing I do, just because it looks better. Um, and we'll set this dot life equal to life. Now, what will we do with the amount? What we want to do is we want to set up this particle as much as we have, as much as we can, okay? Um, and you can see that we've sort of done this. Um, now, because we've done this, um, because we've done this, we can, it's, it's, it's kind of important for us to do this before we add it into the array list because if we add it to the array list and then modify it well the copy you know this isn't like this isn't c or c c c plus plus or any or c sharp and i say sharp i haven't really used c sharp that much but the point is there aren't oh, the, this is funny isn't it because i could make a joke out of this the point is there are no pointers say that humor that's uh Anyway, um, so pointers. There are no, there aren't any pointers in Java. So in other words, once we add it to the array list, that's it. If we modify it after that, you know, we're not creating a pointer to that class, to that object. So therefore, whatever we do afterwards isn't going to be, you know, the one that's in the array list. So it's going to be useless to us. So what we want to do is we want to do everything and then add it into the array list. So um, there's a few different ways we could do this, but the way I'm actually going to do this is more of a universal method. So if we make another constructor here in particle, um, and this will be the same, but it won't have an amount. So this can be used, right? This can be used if we only make if if we only want to make one particle, but it can also be used if we want to make multiple particles. It's just that this will have to be called repeatedly. That's how we're going to do this. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to cut all of this and put this into here, right? Um, and over here, what I'm going to do 
is after we've set all of our properties here, so we've set this at life equal to life, we've set our X and Y uh, positions, and we have set Sprite to what we want it to be, I'm actually just gonna go particles dot add this, okay? And what that's gonna do is it's gonna take this instance of this class with all of these properties that we've set, and it's gonna add that into this array list, okay? Now, that's great, okay? That's exactly what we wanna do. Um, and, but that only does that once. What if we have multiple things to do it with? That's fine, because what we can do is first of all create um, a particle here. So I can call this XY life, right? So what I'm doing here is I'm running this constructor and that will actually add one into it. But that's not, that's not all I wanna do. I actually wanna run a for loop after this. And we don't have to do this first one. That's just, I'll, I'll, sh I'll show you what I mean in a minute. So i is less than amount, we'll say i plus plus. Um, in fact, we'll just go amount minus one. And we'll go particles dot add uh, new particle, x, y, and life. Now let me explain this real quick because this might be a bit confusing for you guys. Um, what this is doing, when I call this, when I call the, the, the this keyword in Java, in this context, what it means is I'm actually just referring, if we control click on this, you can see that it actually points to this particle constructor. What I'm doing is I'm calling another constructor. So what I'm, I'm not making another, another instance of this particle class, that's really important that you realize this. All I'm doing is simply calling the code in here as if it was any other method. So what I could do, just to show you guys, is uh, create particle, could be here, and then I could make a private, void called create particle and paste all this code into here and basically uh well you know for the context of this you know we'll do this that's my life and then i could just replace this with this right so I'll, I'll replace this with create particle um and that achieves the same effect okay but again it has this extra method it doesn't really need to be here so it's kind of not really clean to me. Um, I prefer just to do it this way, okay? So that's exactly what it does. It treats the constructor as any other method and it simply executes the code inside it. Once it's done that, and the reason I do this is because if we actually do run particles.add, um, we're basically discarding this instance. We're not using it and that's kind of a waste, right? Um, we want to, you know, since we've created this instance, which runs this, we don't want to make new instances. We might as well add the particle that we've already made. Um, because, of course, we've made an instance of a particle in order to add particles to this particles array. Um, so that's that's another confusing concept. But if you read this code, I'm sure you'll understand. I'm trying to explain this in, in as much detail as possible. Um, and the other thing that we've done here is, of course, what we need to do since we've created this instance is set everything. Now, instead of copying and pasting this code into this constructor, I can simply call it using this. This is much um, cleaner. And then what I'll do is I'll add, since we've already added one particle into this, because if we call this, you'll see that it does go particles.add this. So it's added. Um, it's already added this instance into itself, into this particle um, array. So there's no point, you know, that already, that's, that already counts as one particle. So in this, um, in, this, uh, in, this for, for, in this for loop here where we actually add um, all, of our, all of the rest of the particles, we should add minus one because we've already added this one. Otherwise, you know, we'll get one more than what we wanted. Um, so if we put one for the amount, essentially we'll get two particles because we're doing it once here and then um, once here, okay? So this for loop again will simply generate um, this amount minus one new particles and add them into this array so that everything can function as it should. So just quickly, I'm just gonna make, um, basically I'm just gonna override entities methods here. We have render, we have update. I'm simply going to override them by typing public word update. Update will, will contain all of our animation code that we'll cover uh, in the next episode and public void render um, using our renderer, which is render render. We'll of course, um, let's import that. We'll of course, nope, it's called screen, my bad. Screen, actually, what do we exactly call it? Screen, screen, okay, there you go. Um, and screen is of course our renderer, which will render our code, which will render these particles to the screen. So we'll cover updating, so in other words, animating our particles and the maths behind that. 
and um, actually rendering them to the screen in the next video. So I hope you enjoyed this episode of game of game of game of game programming. God, I can't even speak. Um, I'm so tired. I just basically got off. Um, my last lecture today finished at seven twenty p.m. Um, so I've been at uni like all day. So I'm really tired and I haven't got much sleep because a lot I'm there and because of other work that I've had to do. It's just ridiculous. But um, I'm sorry that these episodes have been so infrequent. Um, I'll try and make them a bit, a bit more frequent, but um, I just have quite a lot of work to do. Um, but other than that, I should... Um, network chat program is going to come back. Don't worry about that. Every time I take like a week off, you guys are like, please don't ditch this project. You know, please, you, have you finished this already? We want more episodes. No, I haven't finished any... Any of the series that I've started on my channel have not finished yet, and they will at one point in time, okay? As long as I'm alive. So you can count on that, okay? So if you like this video, please hit the like button. It really makes me want to make more videos. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.